maybe <coughs> this is surprising and maybe it's not but you know God gave you everything he gave you the day he gave you the night he gave you the earth he gave you what's right he gave you what's wrong he matter of fact gave you the day that he has made so that you can rejoice and be glad in it he has done everything for you he has caused salvation to come to you. He has made a way that you can escape all these things that are about to come upon the world that God has done marvelously and done everything we need and everything for us. It's amazing to me. We have a God that would take care of us in such a personal way that he would choose today to speak to you. That's right. He's talking to you and to me. He has said that he will walk with us, that he will talk with us, that he will guide us, that he will uphold us by the right hand of his authority. God has done all these things for us. I sound so amazing. The only thing I could say is God be for us. Who could be against us? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think people forget that. God's with you. God's for you. God did it. God's leading you. God is in you. Ooh, you. That's right. God made you. God designed you. And God equipped you inside to house, to have a certain place where His Spirit could come in and reside. That means abide. That means living in you. That means Emmanuel. In God you dwell. Or God dwells with us. So in God you dwell. Your dwelling place is not what you think it is. It's not an address on this earth. It's not a place where you think you're at home. But rather, it's with God Almighty. Wherever He is, there you should be. This is the day and this is the way that God wants you to be. He wants you to follow Him. He wants you, while you're in the light, to see what it is He has for you. I'm my beloved's, and his desire is towards me. I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them, none of them, is lost. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. Imagine that. He loves you. My delights were in the sons of men. His great love wherewith he has loved us. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You are bought with a price. God owns you. God loves you. God has given you eternal life. Whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. So what shall we say to these things? Why? If God be for us, who can be against us?